what a boring voice. Uh, your voice is so boring. Your voice sounds Your a little dead. I saw this, I thought you were using voice. What a boring voice. What a boring voice. What a boring voice. What a boring voice. Your voice sounds a little dead. What a boring voice. 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 Hello. So it looks like some of you want to learn how to make a video, and hopefully I'll be able to help you guys out with that. To avoid this becoming more easy than it needs to be, I'm only gonna half make the video while making the video about making the video. Uh, if I made the video about making videos entirely while making the video, I would get something a bit like this. And honestly, it would just become a lot more work than it needs to be. Don't ask me how I know this, I just do. Uh, here's a graph demonstrating my work. Okay, so what you're actually seeing here is me typing out the script for the video you're watching. If I sound a little weird, it's because I can't type as fast as I talk. I guess the point I'm trying to make is that you should spend some time with your script if you want a good video because Uh, a good script will give you a good video. I'm just gonna clarify that this is just how I do things, and if you want to do something a different way, uh, then you can do that too, that's okay. To quote the great Bob Ross, in your world you can put trees wherever you want them. Except, pretend that the trees are videos, and instead of painting, you're video editing. Okay, so I've just put these guys together the first part of the dream sequence and the second part. Anyways, so click your first shot and make it a composite shot. That just makes it so that you can work on it in more detail. And find where you wanna start making shit happen. Okay, right here is good. So here are the first of your comments and then we're gonna start making them pop up and ruin my dreams like they do every night. Now we're just gonna add this sick green screen flame thing I found on the internet. Uh, it's gonna look super stupid if we just put in the flames without warning, so what we're actually gonna do is use this opacity tool right here to ease it in. Okay, I think that looks good. Now we're just gonna play with the scaling to give this puppy some dynamics. In music, dynamics are used to make the music more interesting to listen to. You know, sometimes the music becomes loud and sometimes it becomes soft. Um, but here in video editing, a very common way to make things more dynamic is to play with scales. You might have noticed in some videos uh, creators are starting to apply a very slight zoom in to still images um, and that's just so the video looks more dynamic. So a cool little effect you can do here is have one layer scale faster than the other which is actually what I'm about to do right now. Now we're just gonna use this hue tool right here to make things look really demonic. Add this demonic laughing in here as an audio file all right, this is looking pretty satanic. Okay, now I'm just gonna add a bit of this music that I have. Now a really powerful technique you can use when editing your videos is to make things happen on the beat of the music you're using. Uh, remember, you want the music to complement the video, not distract from it. So just identify the beats of the song and put all your scene transitions and actions there. Wow, that was a lot of work for one scene. Now I'm just gonna have to do this for the rest of the video. Before I go, I just want to quickly say I made a guest appearance on my pal Jay Schlatt's channel. He makes some pretty meme videos, so if you're into that thing, I don't know, you can go over there for a fun time. Also, a huge thank you to Back Alley Cat, who let me use his songs throughout this video. I've linked his SoundCloud and Bandcamp in the description, and I highly recommend you check him out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. Okay, bye.